So this is my submarine Necton Gamma. We'll start at the back. This is the tail rudder which steers the sub. And so this whole assembly actually drops off in an emergency. So if this propeller catches a rope and it, I'm entangled, I can release this whole section. This steering rod that controls the rudder, it's released from inside with another mechanism. And moving forward, this section is the escape pod. So if, I'm, if I can't be rescued and I have to surface, I crawl into this section of the submarine and it's a separate submarine. So I crawl inside, I bring oxygen and I bring a CO2 scrubber, I close the hat, or I, I open a flood valve to flood the submarine so the pressure equalizes. I close the hatch before, before the water starts to flow in. The, the escape pod automatically releases when the pressure is equal inside and outside. It simply floats to the surface and I get out of the, the escape pod. This cover opens freely, it's like a car hood, and that's to allow the escape pod to drift up unrestricted. Under this cover is an industrial size inner tube. So as the escape pod is heading to the surface, I release compressed air into the inner tube, which inflates, and that orients the escape pod with the hatch facing upward. Because it's a sphere, it would just ro roll in the water out of control. So that's the way I orient it upward. So now, this is the ballast tank. This is what controls, this is what keeps the submarine on the surface. When it's time to sink, we release all the air out of this tank and down it goes. This here is a, this is a side light side ports. This is a positioning thruster that makes the submarine swing from side to side. Back here inside there's thrusters that make the submarine rise and fall. They're called vertical thrusters. This tank right here is an air compensation tank that feeds air to the actuators of the mechanical arm. So it's an electric arm and the actuators need air well, how do we say that? To trick it into thinking it's at the surface? <laughs> that's the bow dome. That's where we sit right behind that dome. This is a 24,000 lumen LED light. These are trawl floats that give us additional buoyancy. And that's the mechanical arm. It's a four function arm. That's about it. That's it. That's all, folks. <laughs>